Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove body fats in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into using Select Subject for making selection, applying fill, and using Liquify. Let's get started! So here in our document, I prepare here an image of this woman, and our goal here is to remove those excess body fats. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a duplicate layer of our background layer. So going on to the layers panel, click on the background layer to make it active, then press Ctrl plus J. So let's name this layer as the clear background. There you go. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Now moving on, our next goal here is to extract our subject from the background layer. So to do that, I'm going to Click on the background layer to make it active. Then go to the menu bar, go to select, and then choose on subject. So Photoshop will create a selection instantly on our subject. There you go. So once we already have this perfect selection, now press Ctrl plus J to create its own layer. So, so that's the layer of it. Let's name this layer as the subject layer. There you go. Now I'm going to hide first the subject layer. And then to bring back the selection, I'm going to press Ctrl, hold it, and then click on the thumbnail of the subject layer. So once I did that, you will notice here that the selection is back. Then I'm going to click on the clear background layer to make it active. There you go. And with this selection, go to the menu bar, go to select, go to modify, and choose expand. So from the expand selection, I'm going to expand it by 7 pixels and then hit OK. Now you you will notice here that the selection is already expanded. So it's still with this selection and with that clear background layer selected, go to the menu bar, go to edit, go to fill. So this fill dialog box will appear for the content. Set this one to content aware, mode to normal, opacity to 100%. Once all said and done, hit OK. So once we did that, you will notice here that our subject is already gone on this layer. Amazing. Okay. Now, let's deselect this one, press Ctrl plus D. No more selection. And then from this subject layer, let's make this one visible. Just tick on this. There you go. Now we may now start using the liquify to remove the body fats. So with that subject layer active, go to the menu bar, then go to filter, then choose on liquify. There you go. So this window will appear for us to do the changes. Okay. First thing, we're going to remove the body fats on her belly okay so i'm going to zoom this one in like this all right and then go into the toolbar i'm going to select on the first tool this is the for warp tool right so i'm going to click on that or, or press w for the shortcut key for the increasing and decreasing the size brush you can just press close bracket key to increase the size and open bracket key to decrease the size all right, so I'm going to set the brush into this size, and then I'm going to start click, uh, dragging this, moving in to her stomach, something like that, removing that body fat. All right, also in this area, just click and drag it, going into the stomach. See, now we just removed the body fat on that area. All right, so also in these hips, you will notice here that there are fats on it. So let's do the same thing. Just click and drag. There are increasing those body fats. Also to the other area. All right, looking better. All right, also this part, maybe like, let's adjust this one a little bit. Okay. Making her slim. I'm just increasing the size so that I can move a bigger area. All right, now that seems better. All right, so let's move on to the thigh part. Let's also remove the fats on this area, all right? If we're going to increase the size of this and I'm going to click and drag it, you will notice here that the other side of the legs is also stretch out, right? So let's undo this one, press Ctrl plus Z. To, to avoid stretching on the other leg, we're going to make use of a freeze tool. So going on to the toolbar, this is the freeze mask tool. Click on this, all right? And then I'm going to click and drag from the area that I don't want that 
to be stretched out when I'm using the for warp tool. Okay, so I'm going to make this red mark, right? So that means it this part won't be stretched out when I'm using the for forward warp tool. So, so once I already put this freeze mark. Let's go to the menu toolbar and get on the forward warp tool once again. Let's, de let's decrease the size of this brush to this. And then we, we may now start compressing this one to remove those thigh fats. Something like that. All right, so let's zoom this one out for us to see the better result. All right, that's how it goes. Let's go and get that forward warp tool once again, and let's keep on decreasing the size on the tie part, also here. All right, now let's go on to the other tie. So to remove this freeze mark, okay, so I'm going to the toolbar and get on the tall mask tool, all right? So click this one, and we may now start removing that mark. There we go. All right, so now let's go and get the freeze mask because we're going to put it here so that this won't be affected. Let's go and get the forward dwarf tool and then let's keep on compressing this part. All right, so let's remove those markings. Get the tall mask tool, erase that. All right, that looks better. Right, so also on this part. All right, so there you go. We already removed most of the fats on the tie and on the belly part. Once you're good with it, now don't forget to hit OK. So this one, click on this. There you are, looking better. So that's it. Let me show you the before and after. So this one is the before. And this one is the after. And that is how to remove body fats in Photoshop.